In other news now, in the UK, Prime Minister Rishi Sunak's asylum laws are leading to a permanent backlog. This means that tens of thousands of people will be permanently imprisoned in the UK asylum system as a result of the new rules and the shortcomings of its Rwanda plan. Up to 55,000 people are expected to be impacted. They will be prevented from having their claims processed, leaving them vulnerable to destitution and abuse. The Institute for Public Policy Research says that illegal arrivals in the UK since last July faced removal uh, to their home country or a third nation, such as Rwanda, under the Illegal Migration Act. The think tank also said that existing laws prohibit permission to stay for irregular in arrivals. The IPR also doubted Rwanda's capacity to accommodate tens of thousands of people. The I IPR, IPPR further criticized the Home Office for causing chaos and leaving asylum seekers stuck in a backlog costing taxpayers millions. Well, on the other hand, the UK Home Secretary James Cleverly is addressing Hello. wealthy nations in New York to urge support for developing countries to prevent migrations. He suggested that re regions like Africa, the Indian subcontinent and Southeast Asia should become wealthier. However, migration experts have questioned Cleverly's plan. They said developing policies alone may not reduce migration. Responding to the report, a Home Office spokesperson assured progress in clearing the, in clearing the backlog of asylum cases. The Home Office also promised progress in implementing measures under the Illegal Migration Act to align them with the government's commitment to tackle illegal migration. For all the latest news, download the Beyond app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.